Oh, that's a good hit right in front of me. Yeah. We've been fishing for three minutes. Dude, <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. That's a good fish. Nice that's fish, awesome. dude. <laughs> that's how you start a morning. Nope, we got him. Whoa, dude. That's a legit nice fish, man. That's a solid fish to start today. I don't see that in Philadelphia. Whew, top water to start the morning. Ooh, Guys, the uh, the bite was so good. Had to come back out to Lock Raven. We're in the exact same spot where I got the uh, last fish with my good friend Leo from Extreme Philly Fishing. This is fish number one. Nice two pounder to start the morning. Leo's using his uh, all pink setup as usual. Let's go ahead and let this dude go. Man. Wow, Our goal for today is to try to get Leo on his personal best largemouth bass, which is currently at what? 3.5. 3.5. All right. Well, that's that's a good start to the morning. Ooh. He missed it, he missed it. Ooh. Oh, he missed it again. Dang it. Oh, oh crap. Throw your bait over there, dude. Oh, I can't believe I missed it twice. That was right on top of the hump. Six feet of water. It's been about 30 more minutes. No hits on the shiners and just that one hit on top water. The wind's picking up. I'm gonna use the bait I was using last time. Solid white color. Get it noticed a little better, see if that produces some more hits. Oh, oh, oh. You got one? Sure. Fish on? Nice, oh. dude. Is he on? Small one. Small one? Yeah. Another one on artificial baits. Oh, dude, yeah. Yeah, come here, small fella. You were my first one of the day. <laughs> drop shot's working. Drop shot, the pink drop shot worm. Yeah, oh, oh. What oh, brand oh, is that? Oh, all right. This is a uh, Berkeley floating worm. Okay, Berkeley yeah. floating worm. Oh, man. <laughs> Well, a small one is a small one. It counts, right? It counts. First one of the day. We're going to search of that. Oh, nice jump. Oh, man. We're going to search of that three and a half plus. Doing too well. Oh, that's Seagull. Holy hey, crap, dude. Holy. Man, that was dangerous. At least it looks realistic, right? It's too hot. Oh, I got Bop. I got him. Fish on. Feels, like, feels pretty good. It's a little hit. Feel like a good fish. No, nah, it's a really small blow up. Oh no, he's gonna hit the marker buoy. Oh no, he hit the marker buoy. Oh. oh crap, dude. Oh, he's on the marker buoy. Oh no. There's a fish there? Yeah, I, I got the fish and the, oh man. I got the oh, fish and the marker yeah. buoy. See, I always see the fish. <laughs> oh, the good fish. He's all in the marker nice buoy. Fish, Holy moly. Are you able to bring it all the way here? <laughs> yeah. Nice fish. Nice fish. He got Looks tangled. Good. He's tangled up in that marker buoy. Ooh, a solid chunk. Chunky. I'll weigh him real quick. 3.25. 3.02. Good oh, guess. Man. Good guess, man. Three pounder on the dot. Another beautiful topwater fish. Let him go. See you, buddy. Nice. Hey, there's some big fish here, though. We got to get them. You gotta find those big fish. There's one next cast. It's a good fish, dude. Same spot. I cast it. Cast where I was. There's a school of them right there. They're hanging out in like 25 feet of water. These fish are coming out of the depths and just smoking this bait. Very next cast after that last fish, dude. That crazy or what? Crazy man. It's a good fish too. I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah. Oh actually is this one a little smaller? It feels pretty this good. This is some magic man. <laughs> what? This is bass fishing. This is offshore bass fishing. Nice fish. Oh, did I snag him? I snagged him. What? I snagged him on the side. How is that even possible? <laughs> it's tough water. He just came up and swiped at it. Right on. Gotta be. Now I get him in. Got him. All right, there we go. Little dude. Oh, man. Healthy, though. Healthy. Healthy. Right. That is true. Man, that is crazy. Yeah, I don't think the minnow is going to be doing too well today. Top water, that's another story, though. So far, my hookup ratio has greatly improved from last time. I've hooked three fish. I've missed one blow up. I'm using a monofilament leader this time. And I uh, saw a couple comments from you guys to uh, wait till you feel the weight of the fish before you uh, kind of sweep into them. I'm trying that out today. It's working out pretty well. Thanks for the tip. There's one. Oh, he's on it. Ooh. Got him. I got him. That was a good hit. That is crazy. 
<laughs> Dude, I love top water. Every time I see those blown up, I'm like, whoa! <laughs> Nothing beats top water bass fishing, man. Get this guy in. That was solid. Oh, oh. All right. quick release, quick release. We're leaving the top water spot. We fished it for about 90 minutes, landed four fish. Pretty good start in the morning. I really want to show Leo what uh, everything this reservoir has to offer. So right now we're heading over to that island right there. Never fished it, but uh, we'll see if we catch any fish. Oh, I got fish. Fish on. What? Some drop shot. Is that a good one? Wow. Uh, what is this? Oh, nice little, a nice little largey. Alright, legit. Yeah. Deep, you know? Yeah, deep. Fishing the bridges now. We have not caught a fish in about two hours or so. Been, uh, been a little bit of a struggle here. Alright, buddy. Get back in there. Action's pretty slow out here, but feels good just relaxing, sitting down, fishing a drop shot on, this, on these bridge pilings, and uh, enjoying the nice summer breeze. Middle of the day, can't beat it. And Leo over here is reading a couple of his Instagram comments. He had uh, one pretty interesting guy. Read some of that. Oh, look at that. Look so at that. big, it had to divide in two comments, man. Read a couple lines of that. Sure. A true fisherman is conservative, providential, not given to envy, considerate of the rights and knowledge of others, and careful of his good name. He fishes many a day and returns a night to his home, hungry, tired, disappointed, but he still has faith in his methods and is not tempted to try new or more deadly lures. On the contrary, he is willing in all circumstances to give the fish the chance for life, which is a liberal sporting disposition. Oh man. That's just getting started, man. Yeah, that's just getting started. It's crazy, man. You got some you got some interesting comments on the Instagram. That's not I gonna have, lie. I have very interesting subscribers, I gotta tell that much. Winding down here, about to call it a day. We had a good morning, caught some fish, and we could have stayed there, but we decided to explore a little bit. Guys, make sure to check out Leo's channel. It'll be in the video description below. This is day three. And for the heck of it, I'm gonna show you the footage from day one, and you're gonna see day two in two days. Don't ask me why I did this, I just did. So today, I'm gonna try to catch a fish that's pretty tricky. Well, depending on where you are, it's been tricky. Got my buddy Leo back there. What up, man? That's uh, we're heading to the bait store right now. I'm gonna try to get some bait. How's it going, man? What up? Uh, let's see, you got some large shiners today? No. No large shiners? Nah, they probably won't be here until Friday. What, do you, what kind of minnows you got? Small and medium. Small and medium. Let me see how big the uh, medium are, please. You mind if I film in here a little bit? I don't care. All right. Let's see. Is the medium. medium? Yeah. That looks pretty good to me. I'm picking up some shiners right now in Clyde's Bait and Tackle. We're going to be going, heading to the two, we're going to be heading to the Potomac River, Washington, D.C., doing some urban fishing. Probably gonna do some multi-species fishing, some bass, catfish, but mainly gonna try to catch some snakeheads. So we made it to the river. We're in DC right now. Give you guys a look around. There's the monument right behind me. Where's the monument? Can you even see the monument? I got just the lighting. Hey, let me help you guys out a little bit. There's the monument behind me. All right, now you saw it. This is my second time fishing here. Last time I was here, fishing with my buddy, one of my subs, caught a couple of nice bass. We saw a lot of snakeheads. We couldn't get any of them to bite. So we got the minnows right here. And uh, we're gonna see if we can uh, get some of them to bite today. So our destination is about five minutes from uh, the monument right here. But uh, this wall is looking awfully fishy. We can go ahead and throw a few casts, see if uh, we can't start the day off with a couple good fish. There's one. Oh, got fish, fish on. Oh, dude, look what I got. First fish of the day. One rod with the first fish of the day. Oh, but you snagged it, dude. No, I did. Look at the top. Uh, yeah, he swiped at it. He swiped at it. Oh, boy. That's a good fish, though. There That's an go. interesting fish. Fish on. 
Leo's got one. Is it good? Is it big? What, what is it? What is it? It's a catfish. Oh, he got a catfish? <laughs> That's a good catfish. Dude, it's, it's a freaking catfish, man. Hey, first fish of the day. Oh, first good fish. Dude, I thought it was going to be a bass for sure. Wait, school. I got fish too. Wait. What? Oh, I got catfish too. Whoa. I just put my line down there. Man. Double it up awesome on the catfish. catfish. Holy moly. That is crazy. Does that mean they're schooling? Oh, mine got off. All right, mine got off. Channel catfish on the shiner, man. That's nice, crazy, man. man. Yeah, it's a nice fish. All right, hey, go. good way to start the morning. We've been fishing for about 10 minutes. Good right stuff. On. Yeah, good stuff. Did you leave you hanging? Oh, yeah, there we go, man. <laughs> there we go. We got it. And guys, I'm out here with my good friend, Leo, from Extreme Philly Fishing. Honestly, I'm surprised you came out, man. How many days ago? Was it two or three days ago? Two days ago. Two days ago. He was jumped by five guys in Philadelphia, walking two blocks from his house. Yeah, tell, tell us a little bit about what happened. It was a bad experience, you know. I, I got jumped by five teenagers, range of 15 to 17 years old. I got beaten a lot. I got a black eye right here, four stitches on top of the eye, some lung, rib bruising. I'm still hurting, but I'm recovering. Tough experience. Man. Yeah, literally guys, every time he talks loud, laughs, or even walking, He's, uh, he's in pain, but you know, he wanted to come down and fish. He came out here. I told him we could reschedule, but he said he wanted to fish. So props to him to coming out here and uh, hopefully I can get him on some good fish today. Right on. Making our way to the money spot, that gated bridge over there. And uh, we had a lot of rain yesterday. Here's the sidewalk. Then uh, this portion of the sidewalk, as you can see, is completely flooded. Some uh, geese over there enjoying that. Bastards. What kind of fish is that? Oh, you got a fish, dude. Dude, throw that in the bucket. We'll live line it. Oh, oh, oh. May as well make good use. Oh yeah, it's perfect little size. Little, perfect nice. size. Oh yeah, terrorize the little shiners there. <laughs> Leo's using a little gold minnow here, kind of catching a little more bait. Let me, oh, you guys a pink jig head and pink line, and you got a pink rod. Right on. What's up with all the pink stuff, man? That is my favorite collar for fishing. For fishing, interesting. Right. We can try that fishing that stuff. Oh, you have hit? Yeah. Oh, fish on. What do you got here? Oh, Woo! New species for the day. Yeah, that is true. New species for the day. Oh man, on oh, a tough day like this, even a small bass like this, I'll take it anytime. Yeah, we'll take that. It's been a struggle out here. Yeah, it's been a struggle. There we go, small one. Hey man. Senko never man. fails. Senko never fails. Do you use a pink hook too? Yeah, I'm using a <laughs> pink gamakatsu hook too. Dude, you're crazy with that pink stuff. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna make a move now and uh, we gotta, we're gonna have to locate some fish today. I guess uh, even with live bait, it's not a not a sure thing. Freaking goldfish? Yeah, so there's a giant and dead fish. This is what the Potomac is known for right there. Gotta check that out. Ooh, it smells. Oh yeah, dude, that smells awful. Ooh. Big blue, that's a blue catfish, Leo? Yeah, there's a blue catfish. How big do you think that is? Like 25 pounds? Patiently waiting on a, uh, a big blue catfish, hopefully. Got the lines out. This is uh, something I'm not really used to doing. I'm used to actively fishing, but it's a nice change of pace. Sitting under the tree right here in the shade, avoiding the 90 degree heat. Feels pretty nice. So I've been out here for about five hours. Have not landed a single fish yet. Leo's caught one catfish, one bass, and some sunfish. That's correct. So it's been a pretty slow day, but we're not giving up. The tide is currently low tide and slack tide. So we're gonna go grab some lunch and we're gonna come back for round two. Gonna mix it up a little and uh, hopefully get on some fish. Been brutal out here. Couldn't even catch a single fish on a shiner. And check out the air temp. It has not been easy out here today. Just got back from lunch. Time to get back fishing. Leaving the minnows in there. Going one rod, one reel. Let's go find some bass. Oh, dude, let me see. Let me see that. Leo with the first smolly. That's a nice one, man. Dude, it's nice a legit smolly. Got him on the Senko? Oh, Senko. What color? Pink. Pink, of yeah, course. Of course. <laughs> nice fish, man. Here. Nice release. Yeah. Good stuff, man. Good stuff, yeah. Let's keep fishing. No! I dropped my water bottle. No, my water bottle! 
Dude! What? Sam found his naked. No, no way! No way! I right, put it down! Put it down! I right, put your bait down! Leo Be just saw. Naked. 10 pounds naked, dude. Come on, dude, I'm you sound like me with my dude, bass. Your head was this big. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Right here? Uh, right here. Nothing's worked for me today. Spinner baits, jigs, lizards, crank baits. I think there's two more things for me to try. One, would be a pink Senko. Two, top water. Let's go ahead and try top water first. Isn't the max level like 30? Oh, what? Oh, good. Oh! Oh! oh. oh Alright, bro. Give me a pink Sanko. Give me a pink Sanko. Right, give, give me a pink Sanko, dude. This is oh, crazy. Man. I haven't caught anything today. You're freaking slaying them. Oh. I'm putting on the pink Sanko. Oh my gosh. That's a two. That's a two and a half pounder. Please come back. Got, got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Let's go. I finally got a good fish. Oh, the wow. pink Senko! Nice the one? pink Senko, baby! Oh, Ooh. keep him on, keep him on. I got him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lift him when he's ready. Oh, Woo! Right. That's a nice fish. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Oh. What the heck? Oh. Whew. All right. That was after, what time is it now? We left the house at 6 a.m. 7.02, 13 hours later, I catch my first fish and lose it on the pink Senko. Oh, 